Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live. We are 16 days, 3 hours, 26 minutes, and 45 seconds away from history. And there's some news here about a company that I've been watching very closely. Planet 13 to light up Las Vegas with a new cannabis retail experience. Let's take a look at Planet 13. Exclusive interview with co-CEO Larry Scheffler and CFO Dennis Logan of Planet 13 Holdings. On November 1st, vertically integrated cannabis company Planet 13 Holdings under the symbol on the CSE PLTH on the OTC under the symbol PLNHF will open its superstore right off of the Las Vegas Strip. I say pardon? Now guys, remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Now, when we talk about companies, we want you to, we want you, we we want you to like know, we want you to know companies that we want to know. We want you to know why we like companies. We want to know why you don't like companies. There's always a reason why a company is successful or it isn't. Okay, and. It's important, it's very important for everyone to be able to do the due diligence. It's very important for everyone to be able to do the research. You want to know why you like a stock or why you don't like a stock or why you're going to buy a stock or why you're not going to buy a stock. Well, look at this. This is one that has been climbing. On August 18th, it was at 59 cents. Look at the way it has grown. I'm going to mark it here. 59 cents. I mean, what a jump. All the way from 59 cents to a high of... It's been as high of 230. Unbelievable. And right now it's back down to around $1.94. So it's gone up dramatically here over the last little while. And if you look at barchart.com, you can see just in the last month alone, it is up 110%. So please, guys, put PLNHF on your watch list, put it on your radar. It could be a big winner. And let's find out a little bit more why. Taking a note from the city's grand hotels, everything about the massive retail store will be over the top. Co-CEO Larry Scheffler and CFO Dennis Logan gave New Cannabis Ventures details on the new retail location, the company's Nevada footprint, and where they see future growth. Scheffler and his co-CEO Robert Grosbeck met through the Henderson City Council in the 1990s and did land deals together with Grossbeck serving as Scheffler's attorney. When it became apparent cannabis was moving away from prohibition, the co-CEOs leapt at the opportunity. Logan spent years in investment banking before being approached by a number of Canadian cannabis companies, but he was intrigued by the capital markets and the size of opportunity in the U.S. Planet 13's vertically integrated vision for Nevada appealed to him, so he came on board as CFO. The opportunity in America is great. This is what I've been really telling everybody. Canada is a great opportunity, but America is 10 times bigger. This has the chance to be enormous. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. I'd like to know your opinion about this. And if you want to learn where I get all these tools, you just got to go to www.richtvlive.com. Go to our website, hover over stocks. All the tools you need are right there. If you're looking for news, we got all the top news right there. If you're looking for crypto, we got everything there. Travel, sports. If you want to contact us or join our secret groups where we're giving you picks 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can join our secret groups of the top three groups right under contact. If you click on a link and you're not able to actually get in the link, it's because you need to download the app. So you actually have to go and download the Amino app on your computer and on your phone, and then you can click on the link and then you can join Amino. Same thing goes with Slack and Discord. You have to be a part of these apps so you can join these groups and then you can follow us on all other social media platforms. So thank you for all of your support. And we really appreciate it. Now let's get a little bit more into this. The Nevada footprint. Right now, Planet 13 has two dispensary licenses, one medical and one recreational, and grow and production licenses in Clark County, Nevada. In Nye County, located approximately 120 miles northwest of Las Vegas, the company owns 80 acres of land zoned 
for up to 2.4 million square feet of grow. While the company does have a medical product line, Medizine, that will continue to serve patients, the main focus will be on the recreational side of the business. This is the photo of the Planet 13 dispensary open in Nevada. Looks very high end. Not the average dispensary. Approximately 55 million visitors flock to Las Vegas every year, and Planet 13 intends to capture their business. According to Scheffler, the company's superstore is set to open in a 112,000 square foot building that used to be a Coors distribution location. After the initial opening, the store will still have 75,000 square feet available for expansion in subsequent phases. Beautiful. The superstore has a prime location just 2,500 feet from the front door of the Wynn Hotel and on the only pedestrian walkway off the strip to any cannabis retail location. What a beautiful location. A rendering of the Planet 13 Superstore interior. It looks wonderful. Planet 13's existing dispensary is located 6.5 miles off the strip and attracts 720 to 740 people a day. The new super Superstore located within walking distance of the strip could conservatively pull in 2,000 people or more with an average daily spend of $75 per person according to Scheffler. Wow. I mean, let's just do some quick math. So if you've got 2,000 people and they're spending an average of 100 a day, that would be uh, $200,000 a day of revenue that the dispensary would be bringing in. That is incredible. So at even at $75 per person, that'd be $150,000 a day that the dispensary is making. Unbelievable. When it comes to competition, there's just one other dispensary close to the strip. The other 45 dispensaries in the state are located well away from that central entertainment destination, according to Scheffler. Can you just imagine? Cannabis superpower on the strip, Vegas, people from all over the world just walking in, getting their cannabis, and going on with their day. I just think this is going to be a monster. The company is betting big on a Las Vegas style experience when it comes to attracting people to the store. Did I just say that? Planet 13 is spending more than 1 million on special interactive experiences people can enjoy, whether they are buying or not. For example, a control panel outside the store will allow people to change the lights and music that go with the 15 foot lotus flower sitting on top of the store. That's pretty cool. See those types of ideas? Love it. Planet 13 Beyond Las Vegas. Scheffler and his team are confident in the company's growth in Nevada, but they are looking to set up shop across the country. Canna Royalty, CRZ, OTC, CNNRF looked to acquire the company about a year ago, according to Scheffler, but Planet 13 did not want to sell a majority stake. Instead, Canna Royalty CEO Mark Lustig and Greg Wilson, a founding director of Canna Royalty, joined the company's board of directors and guided Planet 13 through the process of going public. Scheffler also sees their expertise as a valuable asset as the company grows outside of Nevada. While a superstore the size of Planet 13's Las Vegas location isn't possible in every market, the company sees taking a version of it across the country. The company could bring five to 7,000 square foot mini superstores to places like Reno, Los Angeles, San Diego, Miami, and Boston. Scheffler envisions building a brand similar to the Hard Rock Cafe. Every location will have an experience that appeals to its market and sets it apart from the competition. I love that. They're being unique. Planet 13 is attracting both retail and institutional investors from Canada and the US, according to Logan. The company has had a strong first half of the year with $8 million in revenue, and Logan expects the third quarter to exceed second quarter revenue. The fourth quarter, which includes the opening of the company's superstore, could mean a particularly strong close to the year, all depending on how long it takes the store to ramp up. I love this company. Put on your watch list. Put on your radar. I do not own it yet, but it is one that I'm watching very carefully, and it is one that I would love to own in the future. If I buy it, I will let you know. Please let me know what you guys think. Planet 13 to light up Las Vegas with a new cannabis retail experience. It has been a big winner up dramatically, dramatically 
in the last month and a half alone, it's up 200%. This is your boy Rich. And we are only 16 days, 3 hours, 16 minutes, and 47 seconds away from history. It's true. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Planet 13, what do you think? Big winner? P-L-N-H-F in America. Planet 13. What do you think? Smash that like button. If I win and you win, we all win on the Canadian Securities Exchange under the symbol PLTH on the OTC PLNHF. I'm out. Peace.